Hello everyone. It's a Saturday morning, well actually Saturday afternoon, and I thought I would read you just a couple of these devotions out of the Daily Guide Post 2017. I'm not going to talk too much about each one, I just would like you to be blessed by a few of these today. Since we are especially living in uncertain times, we know that God is in control, and we know that He gives us gifts. He loves to give us gifts. So today, a lady here is talking about how God had shown her a gift. It was a simple little thing. Uh, if we just start focusing on the things around us and how certain things fall into place when we most need them to, we can see God at work in those times. It says here out of John 1.16, and this is out of the message version, we all live off his generous bounty, gift after gift after gift. Reading the cake recipe, I felt my heart sink. I'd forgotten the very thing I went shopping for earlier that morning, eggs. The recipe called for two, and I knew from this morning's breakfast that there was one lonely egg left in the carton. I didn't have the energy to go back out. Besides, I had to make dinner and then get the boys to bed so I'd have time to make up the goodie bags for Henry's birthday party. How much difference can an egg make anyway? Chocolate cake with vanilla icing is Henry's favorite. And with all the fudgy chocolate goodness, who would miss one little egg, right? I got out my mixer from underneath the cabinet and I started putting together the ingredients, all the while reassuring myself it would turn out fine. I opened up the carton and cracked the egg against the bowl. For a second, I couldn't believe my eyes. Two yolks stared back at me. I hadn't seen a double yoker in years. Growing up, we had chickens and were often impressed by double yolks. But I couldn't remember ever cracking open a double yolk egg from the supermarket. Yes, it was Henry's birthday, but I'd been given the gift. Dear Lord, thank you for your glorious surprises that show us how much you love us. And then she says here, if you want to dig deeper, you can go to number 6, 24 through 26 in Psalm 115, verse 12, and Isaiah 1, verse 19. How many times does God surprise us with those little moments in time, those little God wings, when we know ah, that could only have come from God? And all of you know that if a cake recipe calls for two eggs, you need two eggs. It's not going to turn out with just one egg. And I have gone to the grocery store so many times, gone to pick up an item or two, forgot what I had originally gone for, came back with a whole grocery cart full of things. When I get home, I find out that I did forget the most important ingredients. But God supplied her with the ingredient that she needed. And if we turn to him in our situations in life, he will supply us with all we need. God is our sustainer. He will give us those perfect gifts. We just simply need to rely on him, turn to him, focus on him, and he never fails us. So would you bow with me for a word of prayer? Thank you, Lord, for all the good gifts that you do give us. Help us to observe the things around us, the people, the things that you put in our lives that are blessings. Help us to take time to notice those blessings and offer praise and thanksgiving to you. Lord, we love you so much, and we know that you are the giver of life. You are the giver of the best gifts, and you are the giver of all love. In Jesus' name, I pray all of this. Amen. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll be back with another meditation here at Dee's Delights.